Oh, there's one. There's much, much, much more. Look at this guy. This guy got six pack action. Fruit cocktail, but wait, there's more. <laughs> you know, it's the mystery care. <laughs> I got pork and beans. <laughs> I got pork and beans. <laughs> wait, there's one for you too. You're over here. I got a stick. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, I got your dinner tonight. That's my dinner tonight. <laughs> yes. Ooh, lemonade. Uh, lemonade. Look at this. Oh. Stash master, master of stash. Yeah. Make sure you oh, get them all. I'm going to stop digging up baby dams. Yeah. If they're when our pool, it's all murked out. You need six pack. Hey, keep track of how many. There should oh, be 18. 18, 18 beers. 18 cans. 18 or? drinks, two fruit cocktail, a peas and carrots, and one other item. Okay. Two, 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 three, four, four, five, 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 Cactus coolers. I think I drank one cactus cooler. So. <laughs> it was a hot day. Here, have me six. Right, carry up one of those. Six lemonades. I'll grab my shirt. If I find something gross, I'm going to bring out. Yeah. Ooh, it's cool. You're going to eat it. Hell yeah! Okay. Something else for you guys over this way. Right, right over here. This is for the refined dirt balls. <laughs> refined dirt balls? <laughs> <laughs> You want to take her, Reach your hand there, yeah, noodle. You your noodle. There. Noodle in there. <laughs> Some noodle action. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a wine yeah. fish. Oh, no. Woo! Some 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 wineage. I had, I backpacked all that stuff back here <laughs> and stashed it. Wow. Right on. Including this goes this goes to our dinner. We go to get like peas and carrots. <laughs> like fire and ice. So even though she's the ramrod of this shindig, <laughs> Ramrod Rosie. Ramrod Rosie. I thought I'd make it a little bit interesting. It's a Modelo action. Lemonade. So uh, Jacob came in, Matt came in, and who? What are your friends' names? My brother Paul, Louis, Robert, and Josh. We just had met on Friday night. So. Right on. So they came, they all came in. So how many are there? You guys have total. How many of you? There was six of us. Six plus. We have how many? Eleven. 17. 11? 17. 17, 17 people going out tomorrow. Right on. Matt had one of the cactus coolers. How was it? So good. <laughs> hey, that's spent, that's, that marinated in Trogdon's water for seven days. Seven days. Trogdon's water. Like an old, you know, like. It's not, it's not really good, you can mark it. Who's there? Peas and carrots. Hey, oh, yeah. You did a whole thing, dude. Whoa. You hear me screaming? Yeah, Delicious, huh? Mm -hmm. And then she's got her carne asada over there. Look at that. You like wine? You want some wine? Right on. I'll get you a cup. Yeah! Poppage. A sharp knife. Mm, mm, mm. Some wine? 
Anybody want some wine? No, Jennifer? You want some? Thank you, sir. <laughs> to go with that's your, enough, to go with your uh, you. Grey Poupon. Yes, totally. You were like, Lewis? I'll have some in a bit. I'll get my cup. Got my right. potatoes, and that's to go with what? Dude, this is like, I got some noodles. Oh, gosh. Some, like, Asian noodles. Just amazing. Yeah. You could, like, dip crackers in this. Right Chicken, now. coconut, curry. You're always eating curry, some kind of curry, always. Oh, this, dude, curry. I have yeah, cheese with in curry. a bag. Alpine cheese I've enchilada. Never had it before. I hope it's good. <laughs> when you um, put your knife in that bag to slice it open, make sure not to cut the cheese. I'll try. <laughs> I'm cutting the cheese right now. <laughs> cutting the cheese right now. <laughs> mm. Now I'm eating the cheese. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> what about you, Steve? Adventure classics of oh, spaghetti. spaghetti. Spaghetti John. Spaghetti John's ex girlfriend. Let me guess. A Thai. No. Indian. 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 Yeah. potatoes. Tasty bites. So, yeah, tasty uh, bites. witness this the, the melt in her hair. I've had that one. Hey, bring, bring your filter, Louis. Right now. All right. Maybe two. That's the weird thing. Oh, yeah. For Johnny. Are you it's it's so it was like a frozen clam chowder. Let's put some vanilla in there. Got mangoes going. How high is it where the fruit cocktail? Out of like our couple of different kinds of beers. Matt's got his taco fest going. Mm-hmm. Shake green line. Where'd you get the salted? Where'd you get the salsas at? I bought them. Uh, from my house. One of them came from the market. I don't know where the other one came from. And they remembered me when I went back. Did you hear good? Did you get it right? Look at that. Right now, I'm alone. Well, I've wanted to sleep up here for years, and tonight's the night. Trog this lookout. Actually, it's his dumps right up here on the right, but I'm going up to where his goats were kept. This is where the the uh, thing mouse trap. This is where his pen was. Man, it's overgrown. This way, this is kind of sketchy, so I'll put the camera away till I get up there. So here I am with that same quilt I've been using. I'll show it to you. Uh, there it is, right there. This uh, shopgogear.com 700 down blanket quilt. That's my feet. I'll put the quilt laying here, my feet in it, and then come up over. I'll tuck it in all around me because it's quite breezy up here. Tyvek. And that's it. Now, let me give you a glimpse. I'm way up above it. Those are the highest trees in Trogdon's camp. And I'm above them. So I'm up here on this little ridge. Massey might come up. He does. He's got this little area here. But, uh, First time sleeping up here. Take my boots off and get some sleep. Got the sky to look at all night. Let me shut this off. You can see this, maybe you can see the skyline. I, I doubt it. Pretty dark. And my view.
Okay. That worked out good. Barely make out a big Agnes over there. Look at. Uh, there's a bunch of guys in back of this tree. There's a bunch of people down here. A bunch of people up there. And I'm sure there's a few hanging in hammocks down by the river. But this is up looking up Iron Fork. It's the pole of invisibility back there. The pole of invisibility is a spot in the San Gabriel's for some reason where, and how they found this, I don't know. But recently one guy accessed, it, made it to it, made a video. Or I did a write-up where this compass just spins and spins and spins. Nobody knows why. Could be a crash disc underneath. Could be a meteor underneath. Who knows what it, it is, but pole of invisibility. It's right up there. To get to it, down here at the entrance of Iron Fork, you catch a little goat trail. Climb up and uh, follow this ridge. Follow that ridge up, up. Up, backside, and then up. Haven't made it there yet. But the guy gives the coordinates now. So maybe soon. I'm gonna go make some spam and eggs and some spam and Anderson eggs. Spam and Anderson and eggs and coffee. As soon as I get my boots on, this stuff all slides. I'll show you my view. That down there is, is easily accessed. You can get up there pretty easy. Get up to that point fairly easy. Getting over this, you can't go around it. You've got to go up over this. That's that all breaks away. It's kind of sketchy. But if you do that, you get up there fairly easy. From there, I don't know where you'd go. But it looks like there used to be a trail right there. Do a circuit quilt, a 20 year old, 22 year old thermarest short, three quarter inch, I think, maybe an inch. My hat, I put it in there, put the pole through it. The wind, it was, it got windy up here last night, a little. But you know, I stayed nice and comfortable. Just like this. And this was my view all night. The Big Dipper was that way. The bats just went in for the night. I'm gonna go down and join these guys for breakfast. They look like they're the only ones up right now. Right on. <laughs> now, this iron fort goes up. And Ross Gulch 
be right there. There'll be a waterfall right there. It goes back even further and split up to the south and then north. Uh, branches of Iron Fork. And if you take that south all the way back to Hawkins, Matt and I dropped in, dropped in. We went up Little Jimmy, up uh, Windy Gap, and uh, came over the PCT and dropped to Hawkins and dropped down from Little Jimmy from Hawkins, dropped down to South Iron Fork, South Iron Fork, all the way down to Iron Fork and out. And then we came down around Iron Fork here and out to the car. We did that in two days. I think we did that in three days. days. We spent one night uh, right off the PCT. We went up on Friday night after work. That's right. We spent one night PCT and Hawkins right in that area. And then we dropped down and we spent the other night. Uh, it took us all day to come down from Hawkins all Hawkins into the south into into uh, South Iron Fork South Iron Fork we came down we didn't even reach the junction of these two forks yet of North Fork and South Fork and there's nowhere at all to, for a tent you're lucky to find a spot for a bivy that's it's so thick it's just it's going through stuff like this. There is absolutely zero trail. And uh, we found one place for Bibby. We spent the night there. And then from there, we continued on and out. So yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it was a nice stay right here in the George Trogdon penthouse suite. Now I'll go down to the breakfast. It's all included in the price. The price is hiking in. Back down on the ground floor of the George Trogdon Inn after spending one night up in the luxurious <laughs> penthouse. Morning. Morning. Who has made it? A uh, little egg sandwich. Mm -hmm. A couple of them. Yep. And some coffee. Coffee, coffee or oats? Oatmeal. Coffee. Oatmeal. <laughs> uh, Spam Anderson <laughs> and eggs and onions and coffee and one military coffee from the, from a, a Marie Robin and Robin one Folgers mixed. <laughs> Over here, these guys. What are you making? Some chilaquiles type of thing with the leftover curry stuff from last night so much meat. and so chips much. and bell pepper and salsa. Salsa. Salsa is going to Some there. eggs. Some eggs. Matt down there. There it is. What, what, was, what was this here? It was uh, rice balls. Uh, onigiri. With salmon? With salmon, yeah. When we would wrap with seaweed. Oh, man. Right out of seaweed. Still good? Real sweet sauce. Fucking great. Delicious. We got the last one. And this right here was some chilaquiles. Yeah, it tasted that. That was good. This is really good, especially with um with some of the, the extra salsa over here. Delicious. Especially the red one. The green one was hot. It was. It was hot. <laughs> Usually it's the red this one. This guy graduated yeah. from Pepperdine and got his masters. Like fuck, like where did you pack that shit? So Matt packed him in a cake. <laughs> and that's no, that's from Vincent Gap. 
<laughs> down to fish for it. Yeah, and it's not cake. smashed. That's a pound cake. That's, all, that's just the butter is a pound. <laughs> the butter alone is a pound. <laughs> Put another, another half pound of, of flour. Hey, Jen, he just baked that in a Vargo. Nice. <laughs> With one esbit. <laughs> Remember that? Louis, uh, Eric made one esbit win go an hour and 14 minutes. One esbit cubie. The way he wrapped it, it lasted an hour and he made lasagna. Remember that? Yeah, he made some great stuff. Yeah. I thought about him yesterday when we were hiking. Yeah, Eric is a friend of ours, fellow backpacker of us, of ours. Him, Matt, and I, Eric, Matt, and I were coming from Over Baldy, down from Baldy Village, Over Baldy, down the north side of Baldy, northwest side of Baldy, to the ridge. Then we dropped down into cold water and we went down and found some mines. We were right here. He had uh, like heartburn. And he couldn't swallow. Something was wrong with a hard time swallowing. And then the next day, we got all the way down in past his cabin. We camped down there. He goes, dude, I, I can't even drink water now. So when we got down and got out, he went to the ER and turned out he had cancer. And he, I believe, less than a year later, he stage three cancer. Less than a year later, he was gone. But uh, all of us share our memories of him. He used to cook with one esbit. 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 So the penthouse suite, <laughs> spotless. First floor, spotless. Second floor. Yeah. Uh, they're cleaning up down there. They're packing up. These guys are sticking around for a while. They'll take all this stuff out of here. Ready? Yeah. Let's get yeah, out of here. Hey. All right, Alan. That will be out in about a half hour. Yeah. I gotta stop by and drop the grill off with a, with a prospector. Cool. We'll see you, man. Thanks Later, you, guys. Alan. Later. I borrowed a grill when I came up and stashed that stuff. I borrowed a grill from chasing a friend down river. I gotta drop it off with him. Today, it's on my back. That's where I climbed up over through there last night and climbed up that ridge to get up there to the Trogdon uh, penthouse. He's trying to get a drink, but it's too windy. Okay, on my way out. You might remember, if you saw my last video, I borrowed this grill. I borrowed it from my friend Chasen. Turning it, returning it. And I'm gonna show you a couple of the finds that he found. Well, checking out that hole there, he found This sprocket. Look at that. Look at that old bike sprocket. Now he also found this thing. This. This. This pick. This thing. And that. He finds some cool stuff up here along with the gold. But uh, I want to thank him for that. If he watches this, thank you very much. It, it, it grilled up a nice steak and some carne asada. I think somebody even threw a few scallops on it. 
Um, peas and carrots. I made a nice dinner last night. That dinner was good last night, huh, Anna? Great, we had a great time. And the stash that I brought in, one bottle of wine, six cactus cooler, six uh, beers, I forget what kind of beers, six lemonades, two uh, big family size shrimp, uh, fruit cocktails, and what did you make with them? Sangria. Sangria with the wine, and one peas and carrots so stashed it last week used it this week so the last time I came through here this ancient oak right here uh, it had an arm that went out like way out there 40 feet and unfortunately it snapped off. So I went home and called a volunteer ranger friend of mine, Gordon, he's the guy who won the uh, hunt that I had. And I said, hey, you wanna put your sauce to use? And he chose to accept it and look at that. He cleaned it all up. He cleaned this, just blocking the whole trail. Look at that. Thank you, Gordon. Look at that, snap a la, bam. So he came in here, and I think this is going to be the next one to go, unfortunately. But he came in here and knocked it out. Look at that. Now right up the road, there's another place he knocked one out. A while back, that was blocking the truck. See, look at this. All this is from that one limb. Yes. Here's another one Gordon did. About a year, year and a half ago. Mile, mile and a half. Uh, it was this one was clogged so bad that they rerouted the trail down and around and back up But I'll put a link to Gordon in the details down below if you want to see videos of his trail maintenance and the cleanups and Maybe even join in and give him a hand every now and then We are now look at it there's where we started there's where we are and these guys are right behind us right on yeah, we took a dip in that pool that was ooh, nice some, some nice pool right? yeah there's some nice ones beautiful yeah he was with me there's matt and she made it so i'm gonna treat her to in and out burger mm, mm, mm. lemonade and shakes right on you're gonna join us right oh yeah right on Thanks for everything, guys. Thank you, man. Round direction. Let me see the stick. <laughs> oh boy. This guy is wild in right now. See. How many? One, two, four, five, six, nine, ten. Ten, ten. okay. The last one we caught one yesterday had nine. This is ten. Yeah, we'll pet him? No. <laughs> I got control of him. Feel him. I'm good. Uh, I used to have snakes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He, he's, no, yeah. I got him. I got him. He's. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Let, let me touch him. Let me see. Okay, okay. <laughs> we had one for dinner uh, last week. Yeah, no, this one will let go, right? Not gonna <laughs> hurt him. Neat, huh? No, he crazy. was headed up there for some reason. Good yeah. Time. Here, I'll put him up put there. Him. 
<laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's coming back. He's like, Where is it? Where is it? Oh, you see it up there? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So he, he's okay. He's all right. All right, okay. Sun burst of speed. She's officially made it. Right on. Right on. Congratulations. First, first through hike. You've seen things most people will never see. I mean, they see it on YouTube, but you'll see, you saw things that most people will never see. Been places most people will never be, never go. And yes, I carried out all the cans and bottles, plus an additional 30 or 40 that I picked up on route. I'll show you the proof. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. But listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. Just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. With your hands on your hip. You're bringing me to the Baby, it's the fair way fast. It really does an insane game. Let's do the time for the end. Let's do the time for the end. It's a dream. Free me so you can't see me. No, not at all. In another dimension with voyeuristic intention. Well secluded, I see all. With a bit of a mind flip, you're into the time slip. And nothing can ever be the same. I start on sensation. Like you're into Oh, yeah. Two packs secure.